Okay, so I'm looking up just now, just above my uh, monitor here, I'm looking at what I would put, I would put down as one of my gurus. So what I mean by that is, uh, and, and it's Coach John Wooden, by the way, just in case you're oh, interested. Oh yeah, that was him. Okay. Yeah. So so one of the uh, so and a guru in my mind is you know someone who I I look up to, someone who I've studied quite a lot, respect, and find myself referencing a lot. So you know who I can't who, wait. Who would you be your gurus then? I'm not going to say just one, but you know who might be some of your gurus that you find yourself leaning on quite a lot? Uh, Stephen Covey, mm -hmm. Jim Rowan. Okay. Um, Stephen Covey very much, I think, in the years since first reading his book. In fact, prior to that, I did read personal development books. Mm -hmm. And what I knew with absolute certainty, which is the way beliefs are, something we currently hold to be true, we just don't actually see it that way. My belief was business books, yeah, they're okay, but they're a lot of effort, and all you ever get is one or two things out of each book. And if you're lucky on a good book, you'll get one or two things. The time I then read Stephen Covey's Seven Habits changed my understanding of what I could get from a book because it it wasn't so much a book and it wasn't so much a few pointers. It was a whole way of being. It's a whole philosophy. 